I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. Out of Context Tuesday takes on Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Hey, if you love these videos, if you are daring to be Lutheran with us this Lenten season, having a blast while you do it, you can go ahead and hit like. Even if you're not a Lutheran, hit like and subscribe today. Also, you can go to support.higherthings.org and give today. Your tax-deductible gift keeps out of, out of Context Tuesday going. All right, so new thing for us to be doing, which is Out of Context Tuesday, a verse that's taken out of context and butchered so much that it causes me to twitch when I hear it. All right, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, is put on t-shirts, it's put on, on Bibles, it's put on a bunch of things to sort of encourage people that they can do anything in Jesus. Anything, anything. You can make an A on a chemistry test, you can climb that hill, you can run that race, you can do anything through Christ who strengthens you. But what if you can't? I mean, what if you what if you're just chubby and you like me and you you, you just can't run the marathon? What if you what if you're not really sharp in languages and you you, you, you you're just not gonna be good at Latin? Or you're not super smart in sciences and chemistry's whipping you and somebody says to you, Oh no, don't worry. Just believe in Jesus. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Look, and the out for that when you fail is that you know you just didn't believe enough, you didn't do enough, you didn't. That's always nice to save God. So um, this verse is sort of um, excellent because it actually means more than being able to take the hill for Christ. It has to do with Paul being able to get by in scarcity and in want. This is about being poor. I mean, not what you ever take it for. Paul says he's thanking the Philippians for their gift, their gift to him personally. And he's trying to tell them, you know what? I didn't ask you for it, um, but yet it came. Um, I didn't need it, but yet it was a gift. Um, and he says, this is great. He says, um, um, I know how to get by in scarcity uh, I, I know to be brought low and I know how to abound. In anything, in every circumstance, I have found the secret to both plenty and hunger, abundance and need. And so he's thanking the uh, Philippians for a gift that he didn't need because he's saying, hey, look, um, I'm free in Christ. I, I know how to get by when I'm poor and I know how to get by when I'm rich. I know how to open my Chase account and see money and be like, woohoo, can pay my bills this month. And also open my Chase account and be like, woohoo, can't. He, he, he knows how to get by with and without money. Um, and in a way, this is more gospelly wonderful than the ability to take a mountain for Christ because so often when we don't have money, we begin to despair and doubt. We, we start to wonder whether God loves us because he, he must love some people. They won the lottery. We begin to sort of gamble with God. We buy lottery tickets like God sitting on the edge of his seat going, five 17, 27, if I don't get this Powerball, I won't be able to pay my bills. Because, you know, we've told him that, you know, if we win, we'll be very, very generous with that money and give him his 10%. Or was that five? Or was that four? One. Well, you'll give it, you'll get something, Jesus, after I get all my millions. See, we know how to do plenty and lots, but scarcity, not so much. Television and YouTube is filled with preachers who tell you that if you just give money, support.higherthings.org, you can get a lot of... <laughs> that was a joke. You can get a lot of things back from God, and God will show you that he's really God, and he will show you how much he loves you by giving you stuff. And here comes the apostle who says, look, thanks for your gift. It was a gift. We're, it's important to the poor. It's important to our need. We're, we're you know, we're, we're doing the best we can out here, but... Um, We've learned how to, it didn't earn you any points with God because we've learned how to get by in both scarcity and want. We've learned how to be abundant and poor. We rejoice in your gift. Um, 
because it, it, it showed your concern for me, verse 10. And you were in con concern, concern for me, but you had no opportunity to show that concern, and that's why you gave. Um, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, verse 13, 14, yet it was kind of you to share my trouble. Which 14 sort of shows you with 13 what this is all about. And if when you uh, sort of reach the point where you don't have enough money, this is an important verse. More important than when you need to run a marathon. I just need to lose some weight and I can run the marathon. I don't really so much need Jesus. But when I look at my Chase account and see that there's not enough money, I have to trust that he's going to take care of my family too. He always has. Think about this verse the next time the offering plate comes your way. <laughs> Jesus has forgiven you all your sins. There's no need to make change for your 20 in the offering plate. It's going to be okay. He's going to be all right. Think about this the next time the poor person comes to you and you're like, are you really going to use this money for Jesus? For money for food, or you're going to use it for something else. You could tell them that. Hey, I'm going to give you this money, and I pray to God that you use it only for what I've intended for you to use it for. Because, you know, after all, God's given to me. Money. It's just got, there's just going to be more of it. Whether we have or we don't have, we're going to get by in Christ. Because we can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Um, yet it was kind of you to share your gift and to share in my trouble. And so, Out of Context Tuesday begins with the Whopper. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, which is about getting by without money, which is more impressive than taking the hill for Christ. Read the context, not just on Tuesdays. I'm Pastor George Burkhart, and this has been another Higher Things video short. <laughs>